back into James's tracks, is that what I heard? I'm not sure what that means. I've had no luck with the cats at all, but we have found a little striped pyjama donkey. There it is. Looking very peaceful. Doesn't look like it's seen a cat. Certainly not one big enough to call it, cause it any threat. Tw twitching along to get rid of the flies. I often wish that I could twitch my skin like that to get rid of flies instead of having to slap and scratch. <laughs> and it's remarkable actually how animals are able to do that. And I'm sure it's entirely conscious, I don't think it's an unconscious movement. And then a swing of the head round for something really irritating and a slap of the tail. Yes, the ultimate fly swatter is the tail of the horse zebra. Oh, the giraffe, also very good. I think that's probably a young stallion. Might be a young mare. But the rest of the kinship group is just up ahead. And this chap, I think, is just facing the east, enjoying the rising sun. Of course, zebras are not ruminants, so it's not like he's trying to sort of re-chew any of his food. He's just sort of standing there enjoying the early morning light. There are a whole lot of them here, a vast dazzle of zebra. I've always thought that's the most, um, I don't know, innocuous name for a group of zebra. There they are. That's a really nice picture of them sitting across there, actually. In amongst the grass and the small trees. Good morning, Zebra. Have you had a good evening? Well, I suppose you weren't eaten, so that must, by definition, count as a good evening, surely. That's a really nice shot, actually. And again, anybody who's been watching this for a while will clearly, or will, might be inspired to ask the question, why on earth do they have stripes? If so, obviously, it makes them obvious. Because they certainly don't look very hidden to me. Very beautiful. And, of course, there are any number of bizarre and, uh, I'd say, the uni almost universally ridiculous theories as to why they are the colour that they are, ranging from trying to detract or uh, discourage biting flies to maintaining temperature because the black stripes are slightly hotter than the white stripes. I think it's got something to do with predators. That's a very interesting question, Winter Prism. I don't know the answer to it, though. Um, so let's have a, a collective think. Why would a zebra's mane be sort of hogged and standing upright like that, when a horse's, if left to grow wild, will turn much longer? And the answer, I, don't, I really couldn't tell you. Winter Prism, I, I, I cannot think of an ecological reason. Of course, we know why, uh, or the reasons for why a zebra's mane stands up. And that's because there's a store of fat in the neck there. And somehow that store of fat holds the mane upright. And when a zebra is, uh, when a zebra loses condition, that store of fat is used up and the mane starts to lie down, much like a horse's does. So maybe you'll find that horses have not developed the same ability to uh, store fat there, and maybe that's why their manes don't stand up. But it doesn't explain why the hair stops growing, why it doesn't get long like a horse's does. So I couldn't tell you. The best thing, of course, to do, though, would be to look at something like a Przewalski's horse. Now, the Przewalski's horse 
is the closest we can get to the original horse before it was domesticated. And they occur in Mongolia and in the steppes of um, sort of uh, steppes of Eurasia, as far as I remember. They're little sort of dun-coloured creatures, but their manes, if I'm not mistaken, are not not too dissimilar to zebras. So when we think of a an Appalachian breed horse with a mane that stretches all the way down his neck, we must remember that that is thousands of years of selective breeding by human beings that have selected for manes like that. So I think if we go back towards wild horses like the Przewalski's Pris horse, and uh, even they are hardly wild anymore, I think you might find that the manes are more similar. Can somebody perhaps googly a picture of the Przewalski's horse and see if its mane doesn't look slightly more similar to a zebra's than uh, you know, the uh, sort of your average Welsh pony? Oh, nasty wound, yes. Now I wonder if that is from a lion or if it is just from wear and tear. Now that looks like a lion claw to me. It's healing very nicely. Yeah, I think that this chap had a bit of a rough time. And of course, these, I don't know if it was this herd, but one of the herds of zebras was set upon in the not too distant past by the Styx pride and they lost a number of their number. <laughs> they lost a number of their number. Uh, on Arethusa, not too far from here at all. So maybe that was during that great battle. Annie, you say, why are they twitching? Annie, it's because they've got a very clever adaptation to be able to twitch, which allows them to get rid of flies. Which I think is quite lucky, don't you? Would you like to be able to twist your skin to get rid of flies, Annie? I think that's why they're twitching. I don't think there's any other reason other than it allows them to get rid of the flies that are biting and irritating and tickling, as the mosquitoes were doing to me last night. Very unkind of them. They're loving the long grass afforded by our late rains. Just be quiet one second, everybody, if you wouldn't mind. Hold your breath. It's almost completely silent, but I thought I may have heard an alarm call just to the south of here. Now, Chuck, we really have got to put this discussion to bed. You say, are zebras black with white stripes, or are they white with black stripes? Chuck, they are neither. If you were to shave a zebra, so were you to um, get a particularly effective pair of clippers and a particularly compliant zebra, and you were to shave it completely, the skin underneath is grey. It's the same colour as there behind the tail that you can see behind that mare. That is the colour of the skin. Right? So if you were to take all the hair off, that is what colour it would be. It would be a dark grey colour. And so on top of the grey skin is white fur and black fur and a bit of brown fur. Now, I've just got an update to say that I must link to Taylor. She's on a farm. I don't think that's what the update was, but let's go and find out what Taylor is farming. <laughs>